What is up everybody, it's Dante Watson here. Today we're gonna to check out the official Patrick character spotlight for Nicolette and All-Star Brawl. But before we get things started, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe for more content like this coming soon. Yeah, uh, now we're, we have the, we already have the character spotlights for SpongeBob, Squidward, and then Jimmy Neutron. Now we're back to Patrick. Kind of weird the order they're doing it. I thought maybe they'll do all the SpongeBob characters first, then they, well, Jimmy Neutron, then I thought maybe they'll do another Newcomer, but not back to Patrick. Not mad at it. Uh, just from the little bit we've seen in the other trailers, Patrick does have some new moves for sure. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to see a little bit more like an overall showcase of Patrick. I know for sure he has like picking up his rock and slamming it, which is an iconic thing from the show that I'm glad is finally represented in his moveset. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, just check out what Patrick has in store. I did enjoy his character in the first game, and yeah, let's see. Everybody's favorite pink starfish is back and ready to throw down. In today's character spotlight, we'll be going oh, that's a super than Patrick Star. Okay. Patrick is a pretty traditional grappler, all things considered. Slow, heavy, yeah. and mostly limited in range, but once he gets his hands on the butler for a world hey, effort, the barnacle boy costume, love it. Patrick boasts some of the most powerful throws and strong attacks in the game, and his side special hug driver will have you thinking twice about hug how you drive his block. Okay. To help him get past projectiles, disjoints, and those notorious platform campers, Patrick's light up air oh, table Nigel is a versatile similar. tool that covers a generous amount of oh, space okay, and can force people back to the ground. Teresa Guidice, okay. His down special, Counter Slam, also does what you'd expect from the name. He counters an attack <laughs> and slams his opponents. If you do it with a bit of a running start and jump into the air, you can also take advantage of the projectiles your opponent leaves around the field to get a nice burst of speed to close the gap between you. Patrick's other specials include his double oh. lariat, which is a fantastic get off me attack, but is also much larger and he gains armor break. when enhanced with slime. The after field driver is also is granted armor through the slime. The Patrick's up sure. special will grab opponents as he's traveling, but besides that, he's completely vulnerable and doesn't go super far. Altogether, his recovery is unfortunately a bit lackluster, mm -hmm. so you might find yourself spending a bit of meter for an air dodge or enhanced up special. Each of Patrick's strong attacks packs a serious punch, and many of them include additional special properties. For example, his charged up air, Star Spin, gives him a small vertical boost which can help his otherwise weak recovery. Okay. His charged down air is a powerful spike that also grabs the ledge, <laughs> preventing you from overshooting. While his grounded down attack, Steel Buns, is a powerful counterattack where Patrick leaps into the air and comes crashing down on his opponents. He leaps high enough to dodge some attacks and grabs, and even lands on top of platforms. Being a grappler means playing slow, careful, and knowing how to get inside your opponent's head. Maybe things that Patrick himself isn't the best at doing. <laughs> Nevertheless, oh, he has all the tools necessary I'll to make that uh... gameplay effective. If you have the brains to compensate for Patrick's lack thereof, or just want to swing and hit hard and not worry too much about combos or execution, definitely You're showing give off him the a Cook game stage a lot. Not mad, because that actually is a really cool looking stage. Alright, so that was the showcase for Patrick there. Um... Yeah, pretty good uh, spotlight for him overall. Uh, yeah, not too much to say here. He looks pretty similar to how he was in the first game. He plays like a grappler, like I said. That's how he played in the first game. Uh, some new moves, like flipping the table, hitting like the coat rack. I'm pretty sure that stuff is new. Um, some cool costumes we saw. Uh, what's his name? Like the superhero persona that he has. Like, I want to say like Super Patrick or something. Uh, I'm definitely more of an expert than the first few seasons. I think that was like later on down the line. But we do see the Barnacle Boy costume, which complements SpongeBob's Mermaid Man costume that we have. So I always love when they dress up as Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Other than that, he looks pretty good. His super move was like, yeah, it seems like picking up the <laughs> his house and slamming it down. It seems like during that, it trans uh, transports you into like, the street. You see Squidward and SpongeBob's house there as well. So that's cool. Uh, yeah, not too much else to say other than that, but yeah, I'm excited to see more of these spotlights here. Uh, oh, I, want, I do want to say Jellyfish Fields. Um, yeah, it definitely looks a lot better visually and all that. Um, the layout seems more simple, simplified than before. I don't know if like they're going to be layout changes or anything, because some of the layouts of the stages have changed from the first game. Um, but I don't know if that's like optional changes or maybe it'll be like in Smash Brothers or there's like Omega and Battlefield form kind of things. Uh, yeah, it's looking really cool though. But other than that, let me know what you think in the comments below. Catch you all next time. Bye.